More than 200 employment agencies have signed up on new rules for easier transfer of foreign domestic workers. And that's about 20% of the total number of agencies dealing with FDWs here. And those who have yet to sign up can do so by the end of the month. From a minute before Thursday, the new rules will take effect. They will allow employment agencies or EAs to help cancel a, help, a helper's work permit, which is tied to her existing employer. Agencies will have to take care of the worker's food, lodging and medical insurance during the 14-day transition period that comes along. Some agencies say this, could cost, this cost could be passed on to future employers. The new employers must think uh, through very carefully the safety and well-being of this helper during the, the transfer period. So I will urge them to bear the cost so that the EA can take extra precaution measure to ensuring the FEW uh, well-being and safety. So yeah, I think the main part of the cost may pass to the new employer. Well, currently, the former employer must pay the workers' living costs during the transition period, even if she has already returned to the agency. The employer must also pay for the workers' trip home if she does not move on to a new employer. Under the new rules, participating employment agencies will have to cover the cost of sending home the worker. But one firm is not worried about such risks, as there is now more demand than supply of transfer helpers. The unmet demand is high and continue to build up. So uh, at this point, uh, the, the helpers, the pool of helpers available for selection to these employers are really, really limited. So by having more helpers uh, available for them to choose, we are pretty confident that the helpers uh, will be able to find uh, the suitable employment uh, employers and also super suitable jobs uh, during the two weeks period. This news about the new licensing condition is still trickling into the FDWs uh, in the sector. But from our engagement, knowing our FDWs, um, many, I would think many of them would be generally supportive if they feel that their well-being, uh, their employment rights are being met. And if there is clear, open communication, uh, transparency in the process,